This is the internet. This is the internet on drugs. Any questions? This weekend we're going to learn how to make a VPN. No, not a viciously parked nutmeg or a virulent pork nugget, but a virtual private network. Allow me to elaborate. This is the internet. Every time you visit a website, your information goes through the internet cloud to a computer server and then back to your computer. The only problem is that anyone that's around or connected to any spot along the way can see your information, making it easy for less reputable hackers to steal passwords, private messages, and sensitive data. Obviously, most of us want our data sent over the internet to be private, so how can you ensure your privacy in such an open cesspool of cyber vagrants? By making your own little private secure network tunnel that shields your information from wandering eyes. The concept is simple. You have two computers, your laptop, and then a computer in a secure location such as a house, a school, or a business that can act as a server. Then you make a direct encrypted connection to that secure computer so that all of your internet traffic goes through it instead of whatever shady wireless network you might be connected to. So obviously in order for this to work, you'll need a minimum of those two types of computers. All right, let's jump right in and start setting up our server. We're gonna be using OpenVPN since it's the best free VPN software on the market. I'm going to be working on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version of the software to install. Now under Start menu, go to Apps and you should see an Open VPN folder. Open it up and in the Shortcuts folder, click on the Configuration File Directory and the Sample Configuration File Directory, because we'll need both of these later on. Then open up a command prompt window as an administrator and let's set up our server. Use the CD command to navigate up to the C prompt and then navigate to Program Files or Program Files x86 if you're running a 64-bit operating system, then the OpenVPN folder and the EasyRSA folder. Initialize the process with inet config and this will create a vars.bat file which stores our variables. Then type vars and clean all and then type build ca which builds the root certificate for our server. It'll prompt you for some custom information like location, organization name, but when it gets to common name just put administrator. The rest is up to you. When that's through, it'll create your CA certificate in a new folder called keys. So let's just copy that certificate over to our config folder that we opened up. After we have a CA generated, we now need to create a server key and certificate. So type vars again and then build key server and then a server name, which I'll just call mine Tinker VPN. It'll ask you similar questions as before and you can fill out most of the same information except this time for common name put in a host name for your server and just make up something similar to what I have here. But it really doesn't matter. You can hit enter to skip the password and organization settings and then hit Y for the yes or no questions. At this point you may see an error that says unable to write random state. This is common in Windows due to file access rights, so a quick fix to generate a random state is to type set ran file equals dot rnd. Next we need to generate something called Diffie-Hellman parameters, which if you're curious you can read more about here. So type build dh and wait till it finishes. Now we just generated our server key, certificate, and our Diffie-Hellman file. So let's go ahead and copy all three of these files to our config folder. The file key and certificate file names will start with the server name that you selected. Okay, the last step to set up this server is to create a configuration file. So in the sample config folder, copy the server file to your config folder and open it up with your text editor. Scrolling through it, you'll see that the default port is 1194. So go ahead and make sure that your router is set to forward this port to this computer. You also see the names of the certification and key files, so go ahead and change those to match the ones that you just generated. You'll also find the default IP address if you want to change that. Once you save that, you've got all the files that you need for your server. 
So to start serving, right click on the server.opvn file and choose start open VPN for this config file. All right, that's it for this server. Now on to connecting to it. Before we jump over to the laptop, we need to create a private certificate and key for it to use as well. So go back to the command line and type build key and then a name for your laptop. Then run through the same setup as we did with the server key. Now you can copy the private certificate, the key, the certificate authorization, and the sample client config file to a USB drive to load onto your laptop. All right, now you can hop on over to your laptop and go ahead and install OpenVPN on it. Then in the config folder, copy over all the certificate and key files from your USB drive. Now to start up the OpenVPN GUI, right click on the taskbar icon and click connect. If everything is right, it should say that you are now connected. So now all of your internet traffic will be tunneled and encrypted through your home server computer. I know that that was a lot to cover, but I've set up a wiki page specifically for getting OpenVPN to work. So feel free to check it out and leave any questions or comments that you might have. For more tutorials, feel free to check out my website or channel. And until next time, hack some fun into your weekend.